I think if you stopped somebody on the street and asked them what a pathologist was, they would probably have this image of a doctor dealing with dead people. And that's probably from TV shows such as CSI and Silent Witness um, in the form of sort of forensic pathology and autopsy. Most people suspect that our work is about dead people, but the majority of it is actually involved in looking after living people. Pathology is a range of laboratory specialties which are very much involved in the diagnosis of uh, clinical conditions in patients and helping the specialty doctors to manage them. Pathology bridges one end of the spectrum which is the clinical picture that the patient has brought to their doctor and the scientific side right down to the level of individual tissues, cells and molecules. It's very important to the workings of the hospital. Most patients that uh, come into hospital require a diagnostic test at some, at some point and almost all of the diagnostic tests will be reported by a pathologist. From a general screening point of view, we're doing something in the region of 1,200 full blood counts a day. Hematology is the study of the blood forming tissue and abnormalities of that. It can vary anything from a simple anemia, which is basically a lack of red cells, to the most serious of the disorders like leukemia. As clinical hematologists, we deal with patients every day, um, be it in the A&E or in the wards. If a patient turns up with a suspected diagnosis of leukemia, of course we see the patient, get the history and get the sample across to the laboratory to get the diagnosis and eventually leading on to appropriate treatment and the long-term management and follow-up of the patient. And when a bit of tissue comes down from the wards or from the surgical theatres, it comes to the histopathology department. Histopathology is the preparation of tissues for examination down the microscope, and this is done in various ways. Quite frequently, we're asked for urgent frozen sections from theatre so that we can prepare these and give an urgent, rapid diagnosis. Okay, well the frozen section diagnosis is a borderline serous tumour. We work very closely with other doctors with, and members of our laboratory team. And often a major operation won't be performed until there's a sure diagnosis of cancer or some other disease warranting a resection. And that's the pathologist's job. In my specialty as a head and neck cancer surgeon, the pathologist will often give us the actual final diagnosis from the biopsy material we provide and ultimately once we've done surgery for patients the pathology will look at the specimens that we've taken to confirm the cancer has been removed and will also tell us how far the cancer has spread. Well, microbiology is the study of microorganisms or bugs and in a hospital setting microbiology is involved in diagnosing and treating infection and identifying organisms that cause disease in man. Microbiology is involved in a wide range of clinical cases but one of the medical emergencies that microbiology play a key role in is the diagnosis and treatment of meningitis. We had a recent case in which the patient presented with classic symptoms of meningitis. The medical team went on to perform a lumbar puncture and we obtained cerebral spinal fluid which was then sent to the microbiology lab for investigation. We received the CSF sample in the laboratory and we did a microscopy on it to look for cells. We found some white cells in there which were indicative of meningitis. We then put the CSF on an agar plate and grew it up overnight to see what the organism was going to be. Our job is to identify the organism and to come up with suitable treatments in order to kill that organism and stop the disease. Well, immunology deals with uh, defects of the immune system. And those defects can be anything from mild hay fever to acute kidney disease. Well, we're one of the more specialised areas in pathology, so we get a relatively small number of samples, but those samples require a lot of analysis and a lot of very specialised techniques. In the immunology laboratory, I look at results and try and help to interpret them for the specialty doctors looking after the patients. A good way of describing a pathologist would probably be a doctor's doctor. Ultimately, when patients come in for treatment, once they've had diagnostic tests performed, it's often the pathologist themselves will come up with the final diagnosis. 
the majority of pathologists are actually scientists and they have a science degree and they work in the laboratory helping diagnose disease. So you can be a scientist um, in the lab working as a pathologist but you can also be a clinically qualified doctor. I think a lot of people think that being a pathologist um, involves a lot of sort of solitary work but actually you're in the laboratory with lots and lots of different people. As well as the patient interaction there's also the interaction with other members of staff. It's a very sociable job. 